That's that's you have a new album out. Is 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 that on the album? That is on the new album. It's available on uh it's available on all digital streams, The Glory of Eden. Uh is that like, yeah, it, the it, Glory it, of Eden's the name of it? The Glory of Eden is the name of it. Can I talk about that? Uh, please, I, I that's why you're here. I want I want to know what's in what's important in your heart, my brother. I I went through a hard season a couple of years ago. I developed a uh a corneal ulcer in my left eye. And we we, we just experienced so many miracles, uh witnessed uh so many miracles, even in our own life. Uh we would worship and miracles would break out without even praying for people. People would just start getting healed wow. uh, in the presence, and uh, which is the way it's supposed to happen. Sure. <laughs> but we, uh, so I, we just prayed for a miracle, but the, the infection grew worse. And I actually lost my vision for six weeks. Wow. I had to sit in dark rooms because being in the light was excruciatingly painful. So we, I couldn't travel. I sat in my bedroom with the windows pulled and the blinds closed because it was just so painful. Mm. And uh, the doctor finally said, if we don't do surgery, we need to do a cornea transplant uh, or you're going to lose completely lose the eye. So six weeks of in, being in pain, uh, they had me on all kinds of medications. Every hour of the day, I had to set my alarm, even through the night, get up and put these medicated drops in my eye. Mm. And it just, uh, it was, it was horrible. I uh, finally agreed to the surgery. The day of surgery, uh, I come home with a patch on my eye. I don't even know what my vision is going to be. But that night, the Lord started visiting me in my dreams. Wow. It was like the devil was taunting me. Oh, you've got vision for this new season of your life. I'm going to take your vision. That's That was the taunt of the enemy. Sure. And so, but it's like Jesus rose up in me and said, okay, I'm going to show you vision. <laughs> And, and so I have this this one particular dream that inspired the, this album, The Glory of Eden. I was navigating in the presence of the Lord. And so I was uh, I was comfortable in that I knew it was the presence of God, but it was uncharted territory for me. And I uh, uh, and then I would come out of the presence place and there was some kind of entity that came out with me and I couldn't define it. And I was kind of. Uh, it's kind of the way I felt when I was on the bus when I would start, when I started discovering this worship posture, yeah. Yeah. I didn't want anybody to catch me with what came out. And so I wanted to get it back into the presence place, the other, the other realm, I, because I couldn't define it. And then I would wake up and I couldn't remember, except I would just feel frustrated. Then I would dream it again. And I must've dreamed it 30 or 40 times so much so that I'm now narrating to myself in the dream. This is the part where you get frustrated. This wow. is where you come out. And this is where this thing comes out. And before I could go any further with my personal narration, I hear a voice in my right ear, a deep bass voice, wake me up out of my sleep that said, the glory of Eden has broken through. Oh, my goodness. I jolted up in bed. And instead of being frustrated, now I'm intrigued. The glory of Eden. What? is the glory of Eden. Wow. And immediately I go to a vision and I see a wounded girl, years of abuse, hurt. And I, I intuitively sensed that she represented the bride. And my, my instinct was to give what I now know as the glory of Eden to her. And I just will it in her direction. And as I do, I feel the rush of heaven sweep past me. And then my instinct is to reach back into the Eden place. Yeah. And when I do, I become suddenly aware, aware that there is a room of orphaned miracles looking oh for a home. Oh, my Lord. Orphaned miracles. I pull my hand back into the natural realm, and the answer for cancer is in my hand. And I release it. And again, the rush of heaven comes. And my whole paradigm about praying for, uh, you know, I've seen this DNA in my in my family through my dad. And then in the last 10 or 15 years, maybe 18 years, where miracles started breaking out for me, I would declare it and people people would get healed while we worship. Uh, I mean, like, 
like amazing things. Uh, there was a young teenage boy in Kissimmee, Florida, about seven or eight years ago with 60 tumors in his body. I didn't know he had 60 tumors in his body, but uh, the pastor told me he was there and I jumped off the stage and I just began to speak into uh, his torso. <laughs> I, I lowered myself down about his chest and I said, he does not belong to you. I command you to release your grip. And he goes to the doctor and all the tumors are gone. Oh my God. Uh, uh, but it, it just shifted my whole idea of of, uh, of what's available it, in, in the oh Eden my. place. Eden, Eden was the geographical location on this planet where God chose to walk with man. Yeah. And the instruction was to expand the influence of Eden over the earth, to subdue the earth. And... But of course, we know what happened. Uh, Adam fell, but the plan never changed. And Jesus came to another garden and bled drops of blood and redeemed the garden again. And with this intent, he says, now when, when, he, when he died on the cross and became the sacrifice, he said, now we're back to the original plan. Subdue. This is an everlasting kingdom. Uh, and so I, I'm like, I, this is, this is, you know, my rationale of the glory of Eden. God, what are you saying? What are you saying? And so I wrote this lyric and I'm going to tell you the lyric. Uh, I'm here in front of my keyboard. Once in a garden, heaven kissed earth as God breathed his fullness into the dirt. The gasp of the angels, it looks just like him. As God started walking with dust as a friend. Once in a garden with one whispered lie. Friendship was shattered and darkness would rise. God could have left it and called it the end. But he is restoring the garden again. Feel the rush of heaven, hear the song and the sound. There's no end to the wonder. Here as the glory, the glory of Eden breaks out. Nothing can stop it. Once it begins, hell and the darkness have no defense. Rolling like thunder, oh, it's rushing in. As God is restoring the garden again. And so it's this, this place oh. where God and man walk together, this place of fellowship, God's intent, original intent for his people on this planet is to walk with him.